having grown up in the age of the war on terror, I had an interesting and inaccurate perspective on the country of Iran. I was told by my president, George W. Bush, that Iran was a member of an axis of evil, and it participated in the global destabilization of freedom and democracy. That same president told us that we were paving the road for democracy in the Middle East. Ten years later, here we are. Democracy in the Middle East is a joke. Afghanistan and Iraq live under, you know, barely, barely surviving puppet regimes where civilians are still the majority of s casualties in the continuing war on terror and now our leaders want us to believe that I, the country of Iran is a threat to our national security and to peace in the world. As part of an anti-war series that's being held every Sunday uh, with Occupy Miami, uh, one of our weekly sessions or teach-ins was about Iran and the build-up to the war in Iran. If you, Michelle Bachman, before she dropped out of the presidential bid in a debate, stated that the International Atomic Energy Association report on Iran claims that Iran may have a nuclear weapon within one year. Many pundits, politicians, and others who view Iran as an existential threat to Israel and to safety and peace in the Middle East refer to this IAEA report as some sort of evidence that Iran is pursuing nuclear weapons. Having decided to actually research these claims, I read the IAEA reports. The situation is very simple. In the 19 early 1970s, I believe it was 1974, the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Association, signed a treaty with Iran, who at the time was under rule of a puppet government of the United States. The head of, of the country was the Shah. He was um, put as the, the leader of Iran in a coup in the 50s. In 1979, the people of Iran, or some of the people, I mean, certainly not all of them, but some of the people engaged in a revolution in which the Shah was exiled from Iran and a new revolutionary Islamic Republic was put in place. This new Republic obviously would not consider valid any agreements and promises made by the puppet government of the Shah. So the IAEA treaty with Iran in 1974 cannot be considered a valid treaty because it was signed by a puppet government that did not represent the people of Iran. Since the 1979 revolution, Iran has been fully compliant with all requests made to them by the international community. If you read the IAEA reports, as well as reports by the CIA and other government organizations, they all claim very clearly that Iran has no nuclear weapons, has no nuclear weapons program, and is not pursuing nuclear weapons. They state this very clearly and unequivocally. The only thing that they argue against Iran is that they are not fully compliant with the 1974 agreement that was signed under a puppet government, and they claim that Iran does not answer all of their questions. Now again, in regards to standards and expectations made by the international community, Iran has been fully compliant, allowing inspectors and all kinds of inspections to be done on their facilities. Um, they have been very forthcoming. There's one final thing I want to say about Iran's nuclear threat, because this is a big deal. We're, our government is talking about all options being on the table, and all options means that, that there is a potential that we will engage in military action against a country full of innocent human beings. Uh, in 2003, I believe, 
Iran was approached by a clandestine nuclear supply network. The IAEA report does not give any information whatsoever about this network, but it uses the presence of this network. Having So this network, it's a group of basically bastards who have nuclear weapons, um, and it, uh, they went to Iran, and they solicited Iran, and they, they, without being asked by Iran, gave Iran plans for nuclear weapons and other information related to nuclear weapons. Iran was very forthcoming to the IAEA. They gave the data to the IAEA um, and other international organizations who kept this information secret until 2007. However, Iran, again, was forthcoming with the information, and the IAEA reports state unequivocally that Iran did not use any of the information given to them by this clandestine nuclear supply network. Their nuclear program is has nothing to do with this clandestine nuclear supply network. And the fact that the international community will use this clandestine supply network, who they aren't, you know, they're not pursuing this network. This network is, is probably supported by some of these governments and is, is actually... Um, it's actually probably the creation of some of these these governments. Um, they're not using any of that information. So when people start telling you that Iran is a threat, that Iran is going to attack Israel, that Iran is going to destroy the world, you have to stop for a moment and say, show me the evidence. Okay, show me the evidence. If they don't show you the evidence, then they're just demagoguing. They're just basically warmongering and creating problems that we don't need these problems we don't need another war our country is broke so for the sake of our humanity I ask you please be very considerate and thoughtful when pursuing some sort of conflict with the country of Iran a country that is full of beautiful wonderful people who want happiness in their life and who want peace in the world people who do not want war, people who do not want death, and people who have no interest in war or death of America.